I realized by traveling on tour all year that uh, there are a few guys that fill up the stadiums. Of course, the greatest players of all times, they fill up the stadiums. And out of them, maybe Gael Mofis and uh, Nick Kyrgios. I think Nick is filling up the stadium because he's so exciting to watch. Exciting to watch because he's creating a lot with his game, but also because of his behavior that is different. What you can uh, criticize in tennis is the fact that players act a lot like robots. They do the same things during the matches all the time, and all of them. There's no emotion, there is uh, no room for improvisation, and people and players believe that if they don't do that, they can't play well. So they all do it. Now, what Nick Kyrgios is doing is absolutely the opposite. He shows his emotions, positive and negative. He's interacting with the crowd. He's making tennis look like a big entertainment and people love it. And I hope that the world of tennis, the governing bodies of tennis, hear that. They understand what the crowd wants. So you can argue and say, yeah, but a lot of people hate Kyrgios. It's true, but it's great too. Because when they watch Kyrgios, they feel emotion too. And that's what you want. People are watching sports to feel emotions. We have to give them the emotions. And for that, we need people like Kyrgios. And I'm not encouraging other people to act like Kyrgios. I encourage every player to act like themselves and to show their personality. McEnroe was playing incredibly well when he was angry. I'm sure there are a lot of players who would play better being angry, but they don't dare being angry because they think you're not allowed to be angry in tennis. People think that because of his behavior, he's not winning more. I don't believe so. There is no bad attitude. A bad attitude is an attitude that makes you lose. I believe that Nick is not winning more because he refuses pressure. He's trying to explain to the entire world that he's not interested in tennis, he doesn't win, he doesn't want to win, he's relaxed and he doesn't care, which is definitely not true, but it's a way to put pressure away. And this hurts him because being a top player is about dealing with the pressure. And when you avoid the pressure, you don't learn to deal with the pressure. So when the big pressure comes, well, the big matches, the matches that count so much, you're not good enough. So that's why it's not better. It's not because of his behavior.